Okay, hello everyone. Let's go ahead and take a look at a very important property with regards to vectors. And this is whether vectors are parallel to each other. Now before we go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and jump, go back to lines, which we're very, very familiar with. And let's take a look at lines from both a geometric and an algebraic perspective. Now, two lines we said are going to be parallel if and only if they never intersect. Now, of course, we're assuming that we're talking about two-dimensional space with the x and y coordinate plane. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the algebraic, algebraic perspective with regards to that, uh, we're talking about two lines in y-intercept form. If the slopes are the same, then we know for a fact that they're parallel, so long as the y-intercepts are different. Okay? Now, recall that if we said that in addition to the slopes being the same, the y-intercepts are the same as well, then we said that the two lines are not necessarily just parallel, they're right on top of each other. And we said that if that situation ever occurs, we call those two lines coincident. Okay? So let's go ahead and talk about vectors. Now vectors are a little bit different in the sense that location doesn't matter. We said that so long as the direction and magnitude of the vectors are maintained, then we know that those vectors are equivalent to each other. So what that means then is that we have to be careful with the way that we go ahead and geometrically interpret uh, parallelism of vectors. And we must say that two vectors are parallel if and only if they can become coincident. So in other words, being that location doesn't matter, so long as we can put them right on top of each other and they overlap perfectly, then we can say that those two vectors are indeed going to be parallel. So notice that what that means then, the implications of that statement is that we can say that vectors in the same or the opposite direction are going to be parallel to each other because those vectors are indeed coincident. And notice that the magnitude is not considered at all. Okay? So how do we go about showing that two vectors are indeed coincident? Well, the way that we do that is we just go ahead and say that if one is a scalar multiple of the other, then sure enough we know that they are coincident because they will be going in the same or opposite direction. Now the one thing that we need to be careful about is that we need to make sure that A and B are not zero vectors. Okay? And then we also need to make sure that K is not equal to zero as well. Okay? And so if we go ahead and take a look at the scalar multiplication of one vector equaling the ve another vector, then we know for a fact that those two vectors are indeed coincident or can be made coincident and therefore the two vectors are in fact parallel. Okay, so there you go. That's what you have with regards to lines and vectors from both a geometric and an algebraic perspective. We'll go ahead and take a look in class as to how we can go ahead and apply this formula to work with vectors that are or are not parallel. Okay, so we'll see how we do in class and we'll take any questions during that time. See you then. Bye-bye.